Hello, thanks for dropping by Electric TV today. I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. In part one of our series on Joint Apprenticeship Training Committees, or JATCs, we took you to Omaha, where city and business leaders rely on the NECA IBEW team to get their construction jobs done right the first time. Today, we bring you part two of our series. This time, we travel to Atlanta, Georgia. The JATC model of training electricians and linemen is the gold standard of the construction industry. This isn't just because it turns out the best electricians or linemen, but it's because the flexibility and superiority of each student was turned out all around the United States. In Atlanta, that model has been perfected at the Atlanta Electrical Training Center. The facility was designed to accommodate as many electrical products uh, as possible uh, in order to use it as a teaching tool as well as a functional space. For instance, throughout the facility we use different types of light fixtures, lighting control systems, wiring devices to demonstrate to the students different varieties of that's in the marketplace. We have the ability to target training for site-specific or customer-specific uh, needs. I think it's a lot easier for us to pool our funds. Uh, we get a better product uh, than if you were doing it individually. It, it would cost, I believe, a lot more money to do that. This training center didn't come cheap, however, but the NECA contractors of the Atlanta Electrical Contractors Association came up with the funds needed to get it off the ground and ensure their workforce was the best around. All this was established through the collective bargaining process, you know. Uh, these young men learn a trade. Uh, you know, the employer gets a skilled, educated workforce, and you know, the local union gets uh, good, solid members. So uh, it's a win for everybody, even the community. People don't seek us out because we're union contractors. They seek us out because we're quality contractors. Our employees become better electricians because of this training center. That allows our employers to provide a better value product to their customers. It's changing the perception of construction work slowly, but surely, in Georgia. The culture of America says, oh, construction, oh, that's not a very good career to go in. You know, you're dirty, you got a big belly, you got a big neck, you know, all those kind of stereotypes. And when we spread the word about the educational level and how when you go through our five-year apprenticeship program, you're going to have a stack of five feet of books with algebra, geometry, trigonometry, physical sciences. And we, when we find out how well they're educated, um, that then kind of turns them into trying to help change that cultural stereotype. Even the mayor of Atlanta is on board. We like to have a diverse economic ecosystem in the city of Atlanta, and the IBEW is an essential part of it. I believe uh, that the folks in IBEW, a local 613, take a back seat to no one. For the students, they know they must place an emphasis not only on acquiring the right knowledge, but also making sure that their customers are happy at the same time. As an electrician, most of it is going to be confidence. When you have the proper training, when you have the experience and the, the skills, when you get that understanding of what it is the customer is looking for, it all boils down to your confidence. When you go out there to the customer, you've got to show them that you can you can provide what you're selling. And in order for us to survive as a union and as a school, we're going to have to do the best we can to uphold that. All we have to sell is what we do with our hands. And we're all the time advertising on time, on budget, online. And so that's why it's, it's very important to be turning apprentices out of this school that are qualified to go out and do journeyman work and or supervisor work from day one. And it's the customers who hire this NECA IBEW team in Atlanta that are paying attention. And they're ecstatic about the product they're getting. As a general contractor, um, we're only as good as the subcontractors that work for us. And, and, the, and, the, and the IBEW guys, man, these guys have been trained, uh, tested, they're proven. Um, you know, we want to work with people that get it right the first time. And they do. I've always found the electricians that have come up through the training program to to be of the highest quality of craftsmanship and professionalism of any that we've seen anywhere and we do work across the country. It's like you can always count on the consistency of these guys and it doesn't really matter where the project is if they've come up through a program like this you know what you're going to get. 
The Atlanta JATC places such a huge emphasis on customer service, and in that way, they're working hard every day to prove their value proposition in the city and the surrounding areas. They're doing it the right way, with hard work. So whether you're in the South or anywhere else, there are 284 other electrical JATCs just like this one, and they're ready to go to work for you. Thanks for being with us on this edition of Electric TV. Until next time, I'm Dominic Geritano.